what's up y'all it's your girl Trin and i'm back with another video y'all make close this so y'all can see me some more so y'all we in the car today starting off this video starting off this weekly vlog because like i just want to come, come on here and really just talk to y'all for a little bit um i made a post that i might not be posting a weekly vlog for a minute because I have Bell's Palsy. If you don't know what Bell's Palsy is, it's just like a medical condition where one side of your face can get like paralyzed, where it can move this and the third. Um, if y'all can see like this side of my mouth, don't move. Um, like my eyebrow, like this side of my face is shift down. I don't know if y'all can tell too much because I have my scarf on. Like when I have my scarf on. It kind of look the same a little bit, but like if I do like this, y'all can kind of see. Like when I do like this, y'all can see. Like okay, it's not lined up no more. This side of my nose dropped down and everything. So just like I'm not insecure about it. I had it once before in 2018, but it's just like I'm still like, cause y'all know like Bay. Like when I had it at the time, he didn't see it, but now it's like I'm trying to get comfortable around him like looking like this and like being comfortable with myself being around with people who i look like this like it's like y'all don't like people if you understand you understand like it's a big difference it's not like it's not like it's a, um it's not like it's a um a bad difference but it's a big difference if you understand what i'm saying i um i'm just trying to really get too i'm trying to get comfortable with explaining it and stuff like that and everything else. I, um... Come the fuck is wrong with this dumbass nigga, man? Why don't come back around the pole? He been doing that shit all day. C come back around the pole. You just, you just witnessing that? Tell him you been crossing the bitches coming back. I'm going to the trash. No, he was... In the pole. But it, it wasn't a pole, though. Y'all, we just walking. Cause you tripping. You gotta get up and stop, but they put the yellow. You see that? The yellow tip was up. Oh no. That's just cause they're clothes. Oh, Y'all, he just fought it with his nasty booty ass. Why would you tell him that? <laughs> you know who said smell like straight it's salt. Dang. <laughs> you farted. it. Babe, you st Y'all, he's st <laughs> She's fucking up my eyes. <laughs> 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 That ain't funny. I don't wanna sit on here. You have to sit in there. We ain't gonna be. Oh, two foot down, y'all. I know you need some. Come on, mom. I know you still get down to get there. Hold it. Hold it. Hey, mom. Don't you be out here screaming with these niggas. Come get these rough rocks. <laughs> <laughs> She on the phone. Keep a dollar, y'all. Come to support Black Bill. Call the man. Come holler. Alright, just so I know I didn't really come talk to you as much as I wanted to yesterday. Because I was just like, we were, after we went on our little walk and stuff, we had the doctor's appointment. We only went on a walk because we were stalling around, waiting for the time or the doctor's appointment and stuff. But yeah, like I told you, I'm still trying to get comfortable like recording while I like this. I'm like, bro, it's obvious that I have this as a medical condition. So what? Like, say it do happen again, I, I what I'm just not gonna record. I'm like, bro, I cannot let that happen. So I'm like, bro, okay, I might as well just try to get comfortable with it. And this and the third, and um, yeah. So basically, I was gonna um, I don't know what we're doing today, honestly, but. Um, baby was like, that it's cold outside because he ran to the store and he was like, it's cold. So I'm like, I'm gonna just throw in a little sweat. And if I feel comfortable enough, I'll probably take some pictures. But y'all haven't took pictures for Instagram since the gender reveal, which I really need to get back on top of like me taking my pictures and stuff. It's just like, you know, I used to be that girl who would get up like seven in the morning. <laughs> to do her like get like get all that glammed up get all that clothes out just so i could take my pictures like early in the morning i'm not that girl no more 
like I'm trying to get back into the habit definitely because I'm having a girl and I want her to you know feel comfortable like taking pictures being in front of the camera you know what I'm saying like be comfortable so I'm really trying to get back into the oh yes you need to take pictures today <laughs> Earl, but y'all know how that can be sometimes so I'm like I'm going to ease my way into, like, if I take my pictures and I don't like them, they're not going to get posted. If I take my pictures and I do like them, they're going to get posted. So, I'm like, okay. But now, right now, I'm just trying to figure out how I want my hair. <laughs> like, how do I want to style my hair? Because I don't want to just straighten it. I want to, I'm thinking, since my hair is in the side part, and the way that I do have my side part, you see how, like, it's in my face? I think, I'm thinking, I want to... I'm thinking I want to bring this down, like, right here. Like, I want to bring it down like that. So, where's, like, a crossover? Like, a, let me see. Get into it. I think I want to do, like, a crossover in it, y'all. If y'all don't know, like, in my old videos, y'all, I used to stay doing my hair in my videos. So, I, that's another thing I'm trying to get back into, doing my hair. I'm trying to really get back into styling my hair again. Cause y'all, I used to do that shit a lot. I'm thinking I want to do something like this. Let me see. Let me get a bobby pin. If I have any, y'all, he need to stay out of my shit. Y'all know y'all got a man. He always in your stuff. He's one of them who's always in my stuff. He can never find my stuff. Bro, I better have a bobby pin. And if I don't have a bobby pin, y'all, I use a clip. He always said my stuff. And I'd be dead as wrong if I make his ass go to the store just to give me some bobby pins. Let's see, I need a damn bobby pin. <sighs> Alright, y'all. Let me find me a bobby pin or a clip because I need either one. If I can't find either one, his ass will go to Dollar General because I need me a. Yeah. Y'all, I think I found me one. And oh, this one better hold. Yeah, because I found me, I didn't find me a bobby pin, but I did find me a clip. So that better hold. Now, since I got my hair like this, I think I'm going to straighten it. I think I'm going to show you. Yeah, I went on my Instagram to see like hairstyles that I already have with it. It's common. I don't have a hairstyle like this yet, but it's straight. So I'm going to straighten it. Because I feel like it's going to be cute because I'm putting on a pink, a regular pink sweatsuit because it's chilly. So I'm like, okay. Now I can just straighten it and it's gonna be so cute. And then depending on how my how I'm feeling, I'm gonna put some lashes on. But I'm only putting my lashes on for the pictures because y'all know my eyes like it's still like it's not closing all the way. So like it twitches a little bit, so it's like I'm not going even more because I don't want to agitate it more than what it already is, but <laughs> I need some lashes for my pictures, so you gotta get with it. Yeah, I hope this really come out how I want it to. Cause if it don't, I'm gonna be highly, highly, highly upset. <laughs> Cause I like, I know, like y'all, I can pull off a lot of hairstyles, y'all. But like, even I could pull them off. You know how like you still be like, damn, like what the fuck? I wish this looked like this. So I wish this looked like this. Mm -hmm. Let me flood on my hair and I'm gonna come back and talk to you.
All right, so I'm done getting ready. I came in my kitchen because y'all know the light in here is warm. I'm done getting dressed, y'all. I got on this. I'll get into this girl, but I got on a sweatsuit. Pink sweatsuit with some pink and white ones. I'm inserting my pictures on the screen. I'm getting it to y'all. So I'm giving the girls what? I'm giving the girls mommy. I'm giving the girls all they need to be give, baby. Yo, we can make McDonald's. But I had to come in here and change my damn food because my whole order was wrong. Their food was right, but my order was wrong as fuck. Like, that much I had told us so it's funny and all that, like, no. Yeah, so we downtown. Huh? Let's go, T-Babe. Look. Look here. Look, look here. Huh? That's so petty. She just wanted to sit in the car. How old is this bat walk? But it feel really good. It feel good. I'm actually happy that I had this one too, though. Snake skin one, babe. Huh? Hello. Oh, babe, look. What is it? They're the bracelets. Y'all, look. They got all these out front, y'all. Candy color, black color, army color. <laughs> <laughs> you said motherfucker, these vintage stores, you can tell. Shut up, bro. <laughs> it's so pretty right here. What did you say, babe? Yeah, they are. She's still down here now. They are. Okay. Next to the market stuff is up a little bit. You hear me, babe? Okay. This video ain't dropping yet. You know what? I'm fetching this hard. Babe, these are the shoes I got just in hot tub. The stitches. And mine got more pink in them, though. Yeah. These bitches hard. Yeah, they got a, they done dressed up DTL or ah. Go on, boy. <laughs> what you mean? She can save them. They only forty dollars. I just said we're not buying nothing else until <gasps> look at this one. This Oh my god. <gasps> No, they didn't. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Look at those, babe. They're like the cartoons. And... Oh, yes. So I'm going to try to find Jordan video. Uh uh. Look at them ugly ass chucks. Look at these right here. Oh these my god. And these. <laughs> and these. Hey, look. These Uggs. Yeah. These. Remember? Oh my goodness. You saw her? You do need it. That's the point. Ooh, I look cute. It should be somewhere right here. Yo, we're in Dollar Tree because he need a marker. Need. Not want. A need. I'm ready to X the register. X my register, babe. Oh. He need a um one of them little okay, find it. And just so it, I've been home for a couple hours now. I um I'm getting tired. I'm gonna get ready to take my shower and really wash, wash my face. Yeah, because God got one earring in, one earring up. It's one it's that's a one. I'm tired. It's 8.36, so I need to get my ass up and take a bath 
and use my face brush. I'm actually going to use it today instead of keep procrastinating on it. So, I'm going to see y'all probably when I'm washing my face, though, which is when I get out of the shower. But, yeah. I'm gonna be hot upset. No batteries. No batteries, y'all. So I meant to use this another night, but that's okay. I gotta get some batteries anyway. I got some batteries in my trash can. So I'm gonna just close this bag up. I'm gonna still clean my face tonight. Just not with my brush. I'm gonna just use my face okay, so we don't wanna wear these underarms. They gotta get So the only thing about it is that it might leave your face a little red after, but that's okay. Cause this like, it's moisturized, it's clean. Let it air dry. Don't wipe it off or nothing. Let it air dry. Let it air dry. Feels so great. But right after this, after it drops, I'm gonna sleep on the to get sleep cause that was great. I'm gonna start to help in the morning. Cause I think all I gotta do is put these clothes in the dryer and I'm taking my butt to sleep. So. Job. If I go to Bama get our belly update, I hope y'all can see. Let me take her out because she away. This is her. She's giving. Yeah, she always give when she need to give. But get into her. Period. But y'all, let me take my ass to sleep. Good night. Alright, y'all. So I'm in Walmart. I actually gotta get some damn batteries. I gotta get some paper towels, and I gotta get. What else I gotta get? Fuck. I forgot. Y'all see, but we're at Walmart. Like, it's like every vlog, like I said, I'm always in Walmart. Every vlog, I, I'm always in Walmart. <laughs> so, yeah. Right now, I'm in a garden center, though. Y'all can see the background. 
Yeah, I'm over here in this little current section. And they got a lot of little stuff. They got chairs, they got fishing rods. They got a nursery set. Oh my gosh. Y'all, but mind you, I told y'all I already moved. But he said he want her nursery to be many months. But y'all, I'm so comfortable in. Because I've been in love with the elephants and I've been in love with the damn dress. But that's a reindeer. My baby wanted the sun on. What the hell she gonna do with a reindeer? <laughs> this is a baby Tyler quilt. Mm, yeah, I cannot wait to do this damn baby shower. Oh, I'm gonna feed him. I can't wait to start eating food. I'm lying. I ain't ready for that yet. <laughs> I got a lot of little stuff in my class right now. But I do not need to buy no more stuff because I'm ready to move. So you don't need to do all that. All right. Mm hmm. See. Yo, I think that's my damn problem now. Every time I say that I'm going to get one, the, 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 the stuff that I need to get, I always want to get another shit. So let me get myself out this. Uh, and oh, that's why I need some glue. Do y'all think, let me know down below in the comments, do y'all think Gorilla Glue is better or Super Glue? I don't know. I need some good, 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 good. I need some good. But which one do y'all think is better? I do not know. They have a lot of different type of stuff. Yeah, that's what I'll be saying. Like, they got this super blue gorilla glue, but it's a yellow top. But then this one is a blue top. So I'm like, okay. But then they got the super glue for $3 for four of them. When that shit right there is $6. Yeah. I think I should stick to super glue. It's cheaper, and I didn't use it before. I'm getting a super glue. Cheaper is better. Oh, yeah, y'all. Another thing I was doing is I was thinking about getting another bed. But when I move, not like a whole new bed set yet. Because I don't got time for it. It should be one the month after. So, I'm thinking about getting a whole new, like, mattress. Because y'all not like y'all get a mattress and it's be good. But, like, then you need to switch it. And I had my mattress since... I had my mattress for a long time. I had my my mattress longest than, longer than three years. So, I think I need to change it. So I'm in a section with the hip of tails, but, well, I'm about to, I'm about to toilet paper, but I don't need none of that. It's with tails. Mm. Mm. They actually got, y'all, my house, we have to have to take a towels really fast, so I'm trying to think how many I want to get. Yeah, let me look at these damn paper towels real quick and I'm going to give it to you. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this to y'all before or not, but I still haven't chosen my pump yet because I don't know what's some good pumps because I just don't. I actually need to do some research because I am I do plan on breastfeeding her like fully because y'all just see too much shit going on with um, formula. So I'm like, I'm going to just breastfeed her like the whole time. So I need to find a pump. But I need to do some research on some pumps. They actually got some pumps in here as well, too. Let me show you. Like, this is, like, the pump section they got over here. Which, people was like, y'all don't know how these things be. Oh, this not even connected. People so trifling in Walmart. This Walmart is ghetto. But, people was like, like, this, like, it looking like this is a good way because it, a store, you could walk around with it. But then people was like, this one is a good one. I'm like, I don't know. Does that mean some good brands? Cause I don't know. Yo, mind you, I didn't get her baby bag uh, nothing yet because I'm like, bro, I did not have this damn baby shower yet. So I'm like, bro, I'm not buying her other shit that she's gonna have at the baby shower. Like, I'm not, you gonna waste my time with her having four, three or something that's showing me one of, so. I just, I just got home. And remember, I think I told y'all like a couple vlogs ago that Chase fucked up my carpet. <laughs> So, my rental office did come out and fix it. They did it actually today. So, I'm going to show you what it looked like. And it's giving. It's giving whole new garbage. <laughs>
All right, y'all, so this is the piece that they replaced. Y'all, it's given. I need to clean my carpet because they be giving brand new, fresh. I have a giving dirty, musty, crusty, and all that. <laughs> and I just sold these damn dugs out. Y'all, I hate taking the dugs out. I really would have passion hate taking the dugs out. Um, Prada pissed in her cage. Y'all got to get this shit up, bro. Then, what did I do? Wash the dishes. This is hella dishes in the sink. And then I got to put away these damn paper towels. Y'all, it's like hot as shit in here, bro. And I'm aggravated, like so aggravated. Look at underneath of my damn sink, bro. Look at underneath my damn bathroom sink. This shit is a mess. This is a hot mess. So what I'm finna do is not clean this side right now. I'm gonna straighten this side up and I'm gonna clean it. But I'm gonna get this together. I'm gonna get this side together. Yeah, I'm just, oh my God. Y'all, if y'all want to like, girl, why the hell you don't got no bins? Y'all, I'm moving. Go. I'm moving. So, it's only me having no bins right now. I feel like, yo, you been living in the house long enough. I know. I'm not buying no damn bins for this house because, y'all, I'm not doing nothing else to this house right now. And so, I move. So, <sighs> y'all, I'm tired. I fixed this. I straightened that up. Nice, fun, cute, whatever you want to call it. It's fine. Um, I might gotta go back to Walmart, but that's not surprising, y'all. I forgot to get some damn cleaning stuff. Only cleaning stuff I got right now is some damn bleach. And that's not okay. I don't have no fabula, so I don't have no pine so I don't have none of that. So, we might gotta go back to Walmart. It's 8.57, they close at 11, so we need to go. Because your girl needs to go. So... Oh yeah, I also gotta hang up these damn 
hang up these damn clothes, but y'all didn't see me hang up clothes more than other times. So I don't think I'm put that in this video. Yeah, this is really just like a stressful week in my life. Not even stressful because it's not stressful, but it's stressful, but it's it's okay. So I think I'm gonna see y'all when I come back home from Walmart, or when I get to no, I'm gonna see what probably when I come back home from Walmart because if I see that's if I even go. Don't hold me on it. Don't hold me to it. Cause I can wait till tomorrow. So, yeah. I'm about to turn on start cooking dinner. If I cook dinner. Ouch! Alright, so it's the next day. I just got done doing my hair. Uh, um, I actually was about to eat. They already, I made him his breakfast already. I'm about to eat some food and I need to make Bay his a snack bag. Wait, I'm gonna sit y'all. Can y'all see me right here? I think y'all can see me right here. But basically, with his snack bag, I just get like a, a market bag. Nothing too special. I just get like a Walmart bag. And I go in the snack cabinet and I just put some snacks in there because his dumb ass will not eat all day. And y'all know, oh man, you gotta make sure they eat. Well, I don't know if everybody knows that, but Clarence specifically, you gotta make sure his ass eat. Because if, if you don't pack him a snack pack, his ass is not gonna eat. So I'm ready to just go through here and just find him some snacks and put in his bag, like some fruit snacks, some chips, some cookies. So he can be good. Until his lunch. Oh, uh, y'all get my damn stool. Gotta get all the way up there. He just took the dogs out, actually. Oh. Um, get him some Doritos and some and some popcorn. And some Doritos and some popcorn. Um, and I said a pack of cookies. I'm gonna get him some chicken hoys. Even though he's not really into like, cause y'all used to eat oil cookies every day, but he's not really into chocolate like that anymore. So I think that should be enough. It's in his lunch. It's, he should be. But y'all, uh, we're here at the door. All that I do today, y'all, is go to the bank. I really don't gotta do anything, but I go to the bank today and focus. But I told you I'm not gonna show y'all that, cause I always show y'all that. So. Head out the door. Y'all, he better not get these damn pop tarts stuck inside my damn toaster. Is it even on? Do you even know what you're doing? Do you need help? Do you need help? Do you need help? Can you put the Kool Aid back in the refrigerator? Uh, this man drink Kool Aid all damn day. Alright, y'all, so I just got big out there at work. Just had to shit, y'all need to put my damn air on. Uh um. 
Oh yeah, I got to join that today. It's cool. So goddamn bank. Ah, uh, that's what. That's literally all I gotta do is go to the bank and edit and hang up clothes. And that's that's really it. I don't got nothing else to do today but sleep. Cause y'all, my head been banging again, and baby girl just been really tired. So let her get her sleep in, even though it's like she's sitting on top of my vagina. But that's besides the point. I have to tell a little later. Cause there's not even no point in me taking her to the bank with me. It's really. Not no point with that. Not all these damn cars. Why are so many traffic? It's only one o'clock. Okay, y'all. So it's the next day. I um, like I told you yesterday, all I did really was edit. I um, really had nothing to do. But yeah, I'm gonna do this in this video now, so I can just get this video out to y'all and. So y'all can start waiting. I'm gonna address this situation. I'm gonna address two different situations now. So I don't know if y'all don't mind my missing nail. I broke one of my nails yesterday. But I'm gonna address this shit now. Let me get it over with and know it. Cause I'm tired. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of saying comments about it. I'm tired of me having deleted. I'm tired of just going back through the situation. So first I talk about my Bell's palsy. My my Bell's palsy is it's like a it's like a medical condition where you uh, face stop moving and you can't do nothing about it so it can either come back or it cannot come back but mine's good thing with me mine's do come back like my facial structure it do come back so as, as long as i take my medicine and stuff i'll be fine but it still makes you uncomfortable people still look at you weird people look at you like damn what the fuck is wrong with you like and people don't understand that that it may it will break you down so bad y'all like because the fish you gotta understand when you, one side of your face ain't moving it's like bro i look crazy as hell from my lips ain't moving my eyebrows ain't moving my nothing ain't moving y'all y'all understand when you out and you see people like that it's a real medical condition it's not nothing that's not funny it's not nothing to talk about it's that shit is scary and it's really it's really bad so when people just out and they're just staring at you, that shit hurts your feelings. Like, damn, I really look like this type shit. That, it fucks you up, like, really, really bad. But, like, like I told y'all before, I it took me time to be comfortable around Bay with my face looking like that because it was like, he never, like, he didn't, he know I had it before, but he never actually seen me, like, like that because... Before I used to, I was hiding. I didn't let nobody really see me like that. So I was scared to eat in front of him. Like when he would talk to me, I would talk to him, but I would like turn my head to the side and talk to him. He was like, "You don't have to do all that." Like, but you got you just gotta understand. Like you gotta understand from somebody else's perspective. You gotta understand from your perspective too. It's like do you gotta try to make yourself feel as comfortable as you can be with the condition and when it do happen like with me i had already knew that i was getting like it was coming back because of the symptoms that i had already had because it, it is symptoms that can lead up to it and what everybody is different symptoms. so it was like okay boom this happened i'm like okay i went out with the first the first day i seen it i called my mom i was like Mind da 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 da, this da da that. She thought, okay, Trinity, don't scare yourself. Then I was already scared, so I was crying. And I went to bed. I was like, Bae, it's the same thing. Da 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 da. This is gonna happen again. He was like, da da da. He was like, okay, we gonna go to the doctors. And then I was like, okay. And then we went to the doctors. And then they was like, okay. They looked at what they looked at, and they was like, okay, da da da. They sent me home. And then the next day. My bells palsy came, and I was like, "Oh, but I was like, I already knew that was gonna happen because I knew I didn't have it before. I knew the symptoms. I had everything all. I had everything down pat to the to the freaking deadline to the medicines and everything. I was like, da da da. I was like, okay. So I just had to accept it. I was like, okay. But the thing is, mind you, I'm pregnant, so it was like, okay, this shit is scaring me. Like, this shit is scaring me like really, really bad. I'm sorry, y'all. It hit cut off, but. Like I was saying, y'all, I'm pregnant, so I'm like, okay, this shit is scaring me because I'm like, I know the medicines that I gotta be on, I gotta be on this medicine, that medicine, this medicine, so I'm like, okay, so, 
mind y'all when y'all when you get bell's palsy you have to go on certain steroids and certain this and certain that so i was like okay okay so what i'm going to do so they was like okay you could take these two these are fine so i'm like okay so i called my grandma is a medicine specialist so she's like trinity you cannot take that can i take that that can do this and that to the baby da, 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 da. i'm like oh okay nope i ain't taking this i ain't taking that i ain't taking either one first day they gave it to me i said i'm not taking either i waited till i went to my ob appointment to ask my doctor and she was like she did the, and my mom uh, so first before that my mom and then they asked other people they looked they really, it can hurt the baby but in the only in the first trimester i'm in my third trimester right now so my they after they did the research i was like now my grandma called me again she was like it's okay it's only in the first trimester and then my mom was like it's okay i check all people too it's only in the first trimester i was like uh-huh okay y'all can tell me what y'all want i'm not taking up until i check on my ob y'all i'm one of them people who check with all my doctors first y'all and my mama say it's okay i'm gonna take her word and i'm gonna wait again <laughs> to check with my ob girl because y'all i'll be so scared i just don't want nothing to happen to her like y'all y'all don't understand I, I never felt so much like caring for somebody in my life bro like i care about my daughter so much it's fucking ridiculous like i just over i over check shit like i read it again and read it again and read it again but yes yeah, so i was like okay so she told me i could take it. i started taking it i'm currently still taking it. like y'all can see it's kind of going away so i'm like okay it's coming back and it's coming back nice but the thing is when it's coming back it hurt like all of this hurt because it's like my lips like in my jawline it's trying to go back into normalness so it hurts like really bad but it's okay i gotta do what i gotta do Okay, y'all. So that's the first situation. That's the first situation, y'all. If this, when I'm editing, if this, if this video is too long, I'm gonna cut the next story out and put it into its own little video. So if y'all see me in the next video with this on again, that's why. But let me address this shit right now. Let's get this clear. So when I was 13, I had an abortion yeah i was 13 i had a abortion okay um i'm trying to see how i want to say this i want to see i want to i'm trying to think of how i want to say this without being rude to people but also defending myself so let me see for one mind your fucking business that's the nicest way i got to fucking say it mind your fucking business Yes, I was 13. I had an abortion. I was too young to have a baby. I, of course, I did. I've laid down and did the mess. I know what the hell I did. I knew what the hell I got myself into. But I was smart enough. I was smart enough to have an abortion instead of me bringing a baby out here into a shitty ass place where I wasn't ready to be a mother. And I don't. I'm not one of the people. I am one of the people who is against abortions. I am. Don't get me wrong. I don't like that shit. I'm not for it. I'm not all up for it. But I was 13. So it was like. Like you got to stop thinking about yourself. When it comes to you having another human being inside of your body. You have to not think about yourself anymore. You have to think about what's best for that little person. Because that little person didn't ask to be here. That little person didn't ask to, for nothing. So it's like. You got to be a grown-ass adult at a young-ass age to sit down and say, Okay, I'm going to do what's right and not put my baby or myself into this into this position yet until I'm ready. Or until I feel like I'm ready enough so that nobody else would have to help me raise my child or raise my child. Even though if I would have had that baby, my baby would have been fine. But I was still the only the people that was like, I'm 13. I can't do it on my own. It's not going to work out. You know, the situation, the situation that I was in, it was fucking horrible. It was horrible. That shit was traumatic. I was going through way too much with the person that I was, the person, like the baby's dad, we was breaking up a lot. He was cheating. It was lying. It was so, it was so bad. All right, so I brought that down some so that my phone could stop overheating. But like I said, it was just really bad 
and it was like it was not the time like it was not the time so it just hurt it don't hurt my feelings because i know what i did but like i said it's not nobody's damn business about what was going on but me myself my parent and da 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 so it's just like when people constantly bring that shit up it's like what's the point what's the point we moved on we're in a whole new situation we're in a whole new different predicament we're in a whole new atmosphere we're in a whole new da 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 stop bringing it up it's not your business leave it alone it's not hard you didn't live through it i did mind your business if i'm not sitting here responding or bringing it up don't bring it up it's not your business it's not no point and no factor for you to bring it up like i tell people i didn't met plenty of younger girls who was like oh they want kids they young as shit i'm like bro it's not something that you want to do only do it if you want to do it i'm not saying don't do it i'm not saying i'm not going to encourage it so i don't encourage definitely at that young of an age but it's like don't lay down and do something without having protection if you're not ready because having an abortion is traumatizing having an abortion you dream about it you think about it and that's an everyday thing everybody experience might be different but i know for me i dreamed about it i kept thinking about it it was so horrible like it was so horrible so it was like don't don't do something that you're uncomfortable with lay, don't lay down without user protection if you're not ready for a baby because it's always a possibility of you getting pregnant and then you never know if the person is going to be there for you or if the person is going to stick there without you stick there with you to help with the baby or nothing so if you're not ready for one don't lay down without a condom or birth control or something some type of protection for yourself and and be smart always be smart don't just oh she got a baby i want a baby no that's not how it works just because somebody got a cute baby that don't mean a damn thing because they've got to take care of that baby they raising that baby only thing you get to see right now is that that baby is cute but when that baby get here when you have your own baby that baby becomes your responsibility so if you're not ready for that don't lay down and do it because it, it comes with a lot. It comes with a lot. You got to understand. Definitely as you being, definitely as you being a female, you got to remember, you're that baby's mother regardless. So regardless of the situation, you're going to be that baby's mother regardless. With or without a dad, with or without your mother, without, without, without anybody. You're still the primary parent. You want to have so much responsibility just think like do i want to put that much responsibility on myself right now because i see everybody else doing it no don't don't do that just be smart about the situation and think about it first that's really all i gotta say about the situation y'all because it's like i'm not addressing i'm not addressing the situation anymore i gave you the best advice about it and the way i can i address it the best way i can it's nothing that's more that I can say about it. People are gonna do what they wanna do regardless. People are gonna say what they wanna say regardless. People are gonna handle it how they wanna handle it regardless. But me from my situation, I don't regret my situation. I do not regret me getting an abortion because I feel as though I wasn't ready, I wasn't with the right person, it wasn't it just wasn't that. And I was too damn young. I was way too young. So it was like No. I'm happy with my I happy with my choice. But the abortion did scare the shit out of me. So, and then it comes with so much. So, really think before you do. Think before you lay down and have sex. I'm going to say that. Think about it first. Before you just open your legs. But, y'all, I think that's going to be the end of this video, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share my channel. Do what I got to do. We're going to roll to 2K. Bye, guys.